for the special, we're going to look into this scenario in which India, China, Russia, and America become best friends. Yep, the alliance we've all been waiting for, but no, will never happen. But think it's a great idea for some reason. But as you can tell, many things are going to change. But the first big thing is a conference held between India and China. Which is a big deal because it's how they will divide the place. And as you can tell, this is a big step in the alliance. Because they can't have border disputes within an alliance. It's not recent Turkey, is it? NATO was abolished. But they offered me to show you what lands the countries want. Let's start with America. Because they're in a different area of the world. Well, what they want... So what they want is, what is going on? So what they want is, is Venezuela, some of the land on the thing. The Caribbean, Central America, Greenland, Iceland, Canada. And as you can tell, they want this. With Russia wanting to extend their control over here and down here and over here. China will be the one having changed color over here. Not a Manchuko area and that the Kuril Islands and so forth. With India. We'll go to China first and use this color. China wants about these lands in these lands. So Mongolia is going to have some problems. They want these lands. These this. While India wants to extend into Nepal, Bhutan area, Pakistan, and so on. They're not as ambitious, but as you can tell, there's going to be a lot of changes to this plan and proposals. So, let's see what happens first. With the U.S. declaring war on, well, Canada... With Greenland ending up independent, with Europe not getting involved, because they can't. And they also declare war on Mexico, started two-front war right away. With India declaring war on all the nations they want to take over, because they can. With China doing the same thing, because why not? Russia does the exact same thing. And they move down into this region. This kind of makes Iran angry. No, it doesn't. But it does make Afghanistan angry, Turkey, Poland, and a few nations with Moldova. Ukraine having war declared on. We'll go between areas of the world one at a time for each nation's expansionism. That's why they're unified. With Poland being like, no. Same with South Korea, Japan, Afghanistan, and Turkey. Because they have nothing better to do. With America also ending up at war with all of the Caribbean, eventually they get to war with everyone. Which is what we're going to do, everyone at once, because just will make the video much nicer. Let's start in North America with... America quickly taking out Canada's major populated area of its country. Including moving up the west coast quickly. They take out Toronto and Ottawa and Montreal and Quebec City quickly. New Brunswick and Nova Scotia because they have nothing better to do. They invade all of their major cities as Canada's major cities are over here. Canada's like maybe we should have spent more money on our military. As the troops move and take over Quebec and Ontario. And move Canada into the uninhabited areas. And these troops somehow manage to survive the cold. Yep. Realistic. As they take out Greenland. And yeah, they start their movement in Mexico. But at this time at, they invade the Bahamas and they take out Cuba. But let's look at Russia's goal. Russia has managed to take most of Ukraine out as Ukraine's not being supported by the U.S. They managed to take out Latvia and Lithuania and move to Kaliningrad. 
They open a front on Finland because they can. And they move into this area. They manage to make a huge take of Kazakh areas, with China and India making progress. With India managing to take a few nations over here out, a front line is set up like this, because all nations are moving into other nations on this team. And as you can tell, overall, it's not going to end well. With the Mongolian fall quickly happening, as China moves in like this, and Russia moves in like that, and so on, it collapses. With North Korea and South Korea just falling along with Taiwan, and Japan is where trouble starts. But with China and Russia invading unified, they manage to take this out over the course of a few years. This is the East Asia front, so we're ahead of the rest of the fronts. And let's see how America into Mexico goes. Mexico puts up huge resistance. Well, the most resistance possible with the with the Venezuela being the biggest distraction for America because they declared war here. But once they take it out, they only have one front as they take the Panama Canal, because why not? And who knows what they'll find. With them moving up the coast, both coasts of Mexico, Mexico falls. American troops arrive in Southeast Asia to show they actually and they call this the continuation of the Vietnam War because they can. They take it out. With India managing to move in, every nation basically is taking what they need. With Afghanistan being like, you can't invade us as Afghanistan falls somehow. A very weird for some reason that they fell. With a seeming impossible for Eastern Europe as that falls, the world knows they have to do something, but there's nothing they can do, unfortunately, for them. Which is pretty bad, if you consider it. But Turkey is like, yeah, we may, this may be the end, this may not be winnable, but you can't say we didn't try, says all the Turkic nations. As they send every man in all of their countries to the front line. And they land in Poland, and they make Russia... But basically this, they knew they would lose and they were like, it's time to humiliate them where it really hurts. We have Russian troops just really taking it back out. And they quickly land in Istanbul with America landing in the south with Karachi falling in Islamabad. And India and China and Russia making a great attempt to recapture what they lost. Which in the end this attempt works. As you can tell, all nations got a little more than they wanted. India wants all of Afghanistan, I guess they can have it. But as you can tell, that's what happened. So China got what they wanted. Russia got more than what they wanted. And so did America got what they wanted. Everybody got exactly what they wanted, except India and Russia. And let's see the peace treaty. Did anybody get favorable? Let's see. The anti this pact movement, which won't be a part of this video, but if we get 50 likes, well, 10 likes, let's say that, but 50 likes. If we get 10 to 50 likes or more, if we get about maybe 15 likes, we'll go for it too. With this alliance being a plan called, and they have to pay at least 10% of GDP P on military spending. Most nations exceed that at this point. You know why? The lowest military spending in the world at this point is about 8%. You know why? Because they're trying to plan for the next war. 10 likes and we'll see that war. So please like and subscribe. That's all for today's video. Wild Vapper out. Bye guys.